Thank you. This is for all you ladies out there who like a bargain. This is called Buy One, Get One, Free Girls. Charlie and welcome to the Time Traveller Diaries. Now today we're going to be talking about the life and death of actor Charles Hawtrey. Now Charles Hawtrey was born on the 30th of November 1914 in Middlesex, England. His real name was George Frederick Hartree. Notice the difference in spelling and pronunciation. Now he's known predominantly for starring in over 20 Carry On films, including Carry On Screaming, Carry On Doctor and Carry On Camping. He was also known for flirting outrageously with the footballer George Best. Now he would take public transport to and from the Carry On films, but one time he was given a lift there by actor Sir Laurence Olivier. Now we're going to be going to Charles Hawtrey's house, to one of his local pubs, and to a building where he sustained a very significant serious injury and also to the house where he passed away. So come along with me. And here we are at 117 Middle Street, Deal, Kent, England, at the former home of actor Charles Hawtrey. Now Hawtrey moved in here in 1968 and remained here until 1988 until his death, although he didn't pass away in this house. Following his death, a commemorative plaque was placed here. Now this plaque was placed here by and unveiled by Charles Hawtrey's friend, Joy Leonard. Now there's a photograph online of her unveiling this plaque and I'll try and line up the shot for you here. Now Joy Leonard was, there was a bunch of kind of flowers in this area here and Joy Leonard was kind of turning into a microphone and with her mouth open gesticulating or talking. I'll try and line up the shot like this. Now, Kenneth Williams, one of Charles Hawtrey's co-stars, also visited Charles Hawtrey at this property. And according to Williams, Charles Hawtrey claimed that he had lots of brass beds that he was hoping to sell for quite a lot of money. But Kenneth Williams also referred to this house as being tat. Now, it was here on the 5th of August 1984 that Charles Hawtrey made the headlines again. This house caught fire due to one of Charles Hawtrey's discarded cigarettes. Consequently, he was carried physically out of that top window on the left there by a fireman. Hawtrey was naked and he also had, had in his bed a 16-year-old boy. Now there are some photographs taken from this scene. Charles Hawtrey is wearing a pair of glasses in this shot. Now I haven't got the same pair of glasses but I've got a similar kind of Dame Edna kind of pair of glasses. I'm going to try and line up this shot here with a firefighter and Charles Hawtrey gesticulating with his hands. Now there is another shot from this occasion that I'm going to try and line up for you if I can. It's a shot of Hawtrey standing here, covering his face apparently in shame, kind of like this. Now I'd very much like to thank the current owner of this property who was very kind enough to allow us to film here and even lent me a book on the life of Charles Hawtrey. Now Charles Hawtrey was a notorious drinker and known infamously around Deal for his rude and disorderly conduct. And right now, we're going to go to one of his local pubs. Now here we are at the Ship Inn in Deal in Middle Street in the same street that Charles Hawtrey lived in. Charles Hawtrey frequented this pub and he was known for his outrageous and drunken rude behaviour. He was barred from many of the pubs in Deal for these reasons. Now if you approached him and asked him for his autograph, he'd often snatch the paper and tear it up. He also referred to fellow drinkers as being peasants. Now Charles Hawtrey was dropped from the Carry On film series following his last film, 1972's Carry On Cruising or Carry On Abroad. I'm not sure which one I can't actually recall. Now we should remember that before the Carry On film franchise, Charles Hawtrey also starred in many other films, including Alfred Hitchcock's 1936 film Sabotage and the George Formby film Bell Bottom George, which was released in 1944. Now we're going to go now to a building where Charles Hawtrey suffered a significant physical injury and ended up being the beginning of the end for him. And here we are at the Royal Hotel in Deal along the seafront. Now it was on the 24th of October 1988 that actor Charles Hawtrey collapsed in this doorway shattering his femur bone. 
and as a result he had to be rushed by ambulance to Buckland Hospital in Dover, which is around nine hours away. It was here that he was diagnosed with suffering from peripheral vascular disease. But was this indeed the doorway? Because there was another one at the time Horcher was alive. Follow me. There was also another doorway here at the time Charles Horcher was alive. It was around in the centre here, which has now been bricked up and you can't see it at all. But I will add a shot to kind of line up where this doorway was. So which doorway did he actually collapse in? You tell me. Now it was in this building here behind me where Charles Hawtrey passed away on the 27th of October 1988, aged 73. Now at the time it was a nursing home, residential home, it's not that now, so out of total and utter respect for its current owners, I'm not going to divulge its precise location. All I will say that it's in Warmer in Kent, and at the time Hawtrey was residing there briefly, it was known as Winthorpe Lodge. Now, as I mentioned earlier, Charles Hawtrey, following the shattering of his femur bone, he was rushed to Buckland Hospital in Dover by ambulance, roughly nine miles away from the Royal Hotel. Now, it was there that not only was he diagnosed with suffering from peripheral vascular disease, he was also told that if he wanted to continue living, he would have to have both of his legs amputated. Now, according to his co-star Barbara Windsor, Hawtrey refused the operation on the grounds that he wanted to die with his boots on. Now, Charles Hawtrey was... Uh, cremated in London and at his funeral there were only nine mourners, none of whom were family or friends. It was a sad end to a life consumed by chronic alcoholism. But on a final note, when Hawtrey was residing here, one of the nurses asked him for his autograph and in typical Charles Hawtrey fashion, he threw a vase at her. So I'd like to thank you all for watching. Please share this video and subscribe to my channel and comment and like and we'll see you next time on the Time Traveller Diaries.